you're talking about um, the uh, diminishment uh, of the most important alliance in the post-war order, the transatlantic relationship, which has already been, was already before Brexit at its weakest since World War II. You're talking about not only the removal of the UK from the EU, but you're also talking, I think, reasonably likely about the eventual disintegration in further part uh, of the UK itself. Um, and you're also talking at the very least about the severe dis diminishment of what the European Union actually means, its footprint globally, uh, its common values, and its ability to continue to integrate. I don't expect a global recession or another global financial crisis. Uh, I think that the shock that comes from Brexit uh, is significant, but not uh, of the same size and magnitude as the one we had in 2007, 8 and 9. Uh, however, I would say is a major significant financial shock as the reaction of the markets on Friday suggested. It creates a whole bunch of economic, financial, political and also uh, geopolitical uncertainties. We chose London specifically because it was a great point from which to recruit from across all of Europe and I worry that that legally is going to get more difficult but even more importantly a bunch of our team got together uh, right after the vote and a number of them were EU citizens but not UK citizens and the overwhelming response was that for these incredibly talented, incredibly highly compensated, skilled workers who any country in the world would be lucky to count as, as residents, they said for the first time, we don't feel welcome in London anymore.